Yeah, all right, y'all. It's been fun kicking it with the Williams crew. Hold up, we dirty again, as always, right? Aren't we always dirty? Anyway, y'all, we've been uh, kicking with the Williams crew. Am I still recording? We've been kicking it with the Williams crew for like three days now, which means I've been extremely lazy. Oh, yeah, super lazy. Stupid lazy. Sitting in the house, taking showers every day, sleeping until 10. Oh, that's just... You're getting too comfortable, man. You can't do that. I got that comfortable slot again, that, that comfortable pace, and I got lazy, and I was getting, yeah, I probably gained like 10 pounds in the last couple of days just eating bad food and sitting around. Appreciate their hospitality, though. Keisha, family, Taya, Charles, they're all just the best to hang out with. They're such good people. We always have a great time hanging out. We're watching movies and uh, eating a lot. <laughs> Watch movies, hang out, talk a lot of smack. Eat some good food. Yeah, that's that's basically what happens when I come over here and hang out. So time for me to go out and go camping for a couple days. Let's go find a nice spot. I got my VA appointment in like two or three days. We're going to go do that in the near future. That's going to be this Friday. Hopefully that goes well. And then after that, it, who knows what's going to happen? Am I going to have follow-up appointments, all that stuff? And then we'll talk about what's going to happen in the near future. But first, let's go do some camping. And I got to clean up the van. The van is just trashed right now because I've just been taking stuff in and out throwing it around and just yeah i have not been taking care of honey my bad so we got to go clean her up go find a good camping spot and uh yeah have a couple of nights out in the woods and sleeping in honey back to my baby i did miss it. i did i really do miss sleeping out here and uh chilling out my van and traveling around and exploring so yeah let's get back to that for the next couple of days what this channel is all about right now let's go all right we had to get our bearings so here we are rancho cucamongo Rancho Cucamonga VA Clinic. Sweet. We know where that's at. Tomorrow we got to do labs. They finally just called me. Like, yo, man, we're going to do your labs tomorrow. Sounds like a winner to me. We'll get those labs done. And then that's it, man. Get my appointment on Friday. And then we'll take it from there. We'll see what's going on. Been a long time since I have my physical labs, all that stuff done. So I'm curious what the results might be. I'm a bit of a fat boy, ain't been eating right, so uh, we'll see how that all works out. Okay, finally, after some nightmare traffic on the 15, whatever, California is what it is. We are finally getting out into the sticks, back out into the forest. We got some big old, I mean big old rocks, a little bit of forest. I see a little snow in the mountains, going up a couple thousand feet, all good. Let's go, baby. Let's find us a little campsite for the night. Let's go. We got this. It's a mile. Uh oh, just past the sign said change required beyond this point. But yeah, I'm looking at a car with street tires coming down the hill with no chainsaw. So I'm thinking, I think we're good. I think if you're going to follow this road all the way up into the mountains, you might have a problem. But we ain't going that far. Let's go. Let's go. It's out here. I love these rocks, man. Ah! Come on! I absolutely love that stuff. It, it is awesome how quickly it changes. Like, I just left I-15, and this is the environment I'm in just two minutes later. That's how quickly things can change out here when you're looking for the forest, baby. It's a cool little road. Lone Canyon Road, just outside of Rancho. You might be familiar. Lone Pine Road, Lone Pine Canyon Road, I think is what it was. Is that what it is? Lone Pine Canyon Road. Yeah, that's a long one, but hey, cool road. I kind of dig it already. Up, up we go. It's climbing already. That's a good thing, too, because it was hot down in the valley, but now we get some elevation, be a little, little cooler. Yes, we need cooler temperatures if we want to sleep. We're almost up to this campsite. Let's see how this goes. I was supposed to turn back there. We're not going to do it. Not yet. Let's keep looking. Let's see where it goes. Yeah, yeah, we're getting up in it. Snow on the ground. Let's see what we're looking at up here. We're not expecting any precipitation for another couple of days, so I'll be okay up here, but we will definitely keep an eye on the weather. Just looking for a spot that might work up here. We still got like two hours of daylight. Plenty of time to find a good spot but i love that the trees are getting bigger the mountains are getting higher and the snow's getting snowier <laughs> very nice drive get another big ass truck behind me everybody up here drive that big four-wheel drive truck you understand what i'm saying got the big four-wheel drive truck yeah we 
We are in the bustling metropolis of Wrightwood. Welcome to Wrightwood, California. <laughs> Don't blink or you will miss it. Ooh, lots of snow up here. Man, we got up here quick too. That elevation went up fast. All right, we're still looking around. Not sure we're gonna mess around up here. We might have to go back down. I definitely saw a couple of spots behind me that should probably work, but uh, yeah, we're just exploring, man. That's what we do, right? That's how we roll, baby. So out here checking it out. We don't want to miss anything, do we? Yep, I ain't dealing with that snow, but this is a really cool community. Some really nice older houses in here. Beautiful big trees. Very chill, very relaxed. Speed limit, 25, 30 miles an hour. Please don't speed through places like this. Gonna be lots of kids around here. Let's give them a break. Gonna be lots of cute squirrels too. Yeah, baby, how amazing would it be to drive up that road every day? Looking right at that snowy mountain. Come on, you know I love it. Coming down the mountain, look at the views. So gorgeous. Let's find a campsite somewhere down here. Whee, down the mountain. Oh man, that view is insane. So beautiful. Let's find us a cool little spot. And just like that, out of the snow. The environment changes pretty rapidly. Watch your downhill speed. You watch your speed. Tell me what to do. <laughs> Whee! Yeah, it's really trying to, boy, it really tries to get you going. This grade is pretty steep. All right, we're taking a look at this area here, entering a burned area, watch the flash flood, debris, debris, all kinds of crazy stuff. Anyway, I got a feeling we're not gonna go too far up this road, but we're gonna take a look. See what we can see. Yeah, baby, in the dirt, dirt don't hurt. Dirt make you work. <laughs> dirt make you, f okay, I'll show you. That got all washed out and nasty right there. Oh, baby. Oh, give it to me. Oh, yeah. That a girl. Yeehaw! <laughs> you guys enjoying the phone video? I buried my Osmo in my bag somewhere, so I don't even have it to look at nothing right now. And... Is that open? Yeah, it's open, but I ain't going up that road. That don't look good. Yeah, there's like a funky little road that goes right up there, but that doesn't look good. I think we'll pass on that one. And this one I need to recon before I drive down there. Hold on. Let's go recon. This is a really cool little spot. Unfortunately, you can see the main road right there, and I just don't like that. With a big white van, people just see that thing as a target. It's so weird, man. You can't you can't be right where people can see you and there's no other people hanging out because someone is going to come and mess with you. That's, that's the world we live in. That's the unfortunate reality that I have discovered in van life is people will try to victimize you. Even if it's just to drive by your vehicle or something like that, they just got to be in your Kool-Aid when you're trying to chill out. It's unfortunate because, yeah, that would have worked. That would have been a great little spot, but... Yeah, you can see, they can see me from the road way too easy. Bummer. Oh, well. Let's see what else we can find out here. Might get lucky down the road. All right, taking a look at this road with the gate. This, this road actually doesn't look that bad. At the beginning, anyway. I'm afraid I'm going to get around that corner up there, though, and it's going to get ugly. But right here, the road is fine. But I'm looking for a sea tree street tire, so that's, that's reassuring me a little bit. <laughs> Somebody went through here with some regular tires, so not too concerned. But is it worth even going up here? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll just have to walk it. Let's walk up. All right. Well, it's a good road, but it just keeps going up and up and up. I don't know where it goes to. <laughs> Could lead to anywhere. But it is a decent road. <sighs> what to do, what to do. And there are plenty of places where I could turn around. It'd be an ugly turn, but I could make it. Should we go up and explore? I don't know. Whew, in the view. I-15 is like right there. Cool. Okay, I was able to find a pretty cool, it looks like there's a pretty cool turnout just a little bit up there. So, uh, shoot. I guess we'll give it a try. Why not? I'm playing the game today. 
<laughs> yep, Mr. Indecisive here. Don't think I'm gonna risk that. I don't wanna go up there and get stuck. And I can't turn around and I got no help. And I don't have a signal. I got no phone signal right here. So that's not gonna work anyway. Uh, yeah, I could still come back to this spot later. Worst case, after I tell Keisha where I'm at, big sis, and then maybe I'll camp down there. But there's another spot down the road. Let's just let's just keep looking. We still got lots of daylight left. We got an hour of daylight. Let's let's just keep looking around for a better spot. Let's do it. Getting those vibes, man. We've been out here looking around for a campsite, and a lot of traffic down this road. Surprisingly, even though the road sucks, but I don't know, man. Just not feeling good about this area. So we're gonna go over to another spot. 10 miles away. Let's see if I feel a little more comfortable about that. The hairs on the back of my neck have not failed me so far, so we're gonna keep going with those. They ain't feeling right about this area, so we're gonna get out of this area and try somewhere else. Losing daylight and I'm out exploring again. I don't know. I just took this random dirt road. It looked it looked kind of interesting, but <laughs> probably shouldn't have done that. But it's all good. Whatever. Uh, looks like this leads right up to the railroad tracks. You definitely can't park anywhere near them. Surprised there weren't any signs that tell you not to come in here. You definitely can't hang out around train tracks like the like the train tracks are like right there. Like, nope, that would be heavily frowned upon. Interesting, but there's absolutely no signs that say you can't be here, even though there should be. There definitely should be signs here, which means I'm gonna go down just a little bit farther. Why not? Let's press our luck. <laughs> County sheriff's gonna show up in here. What are you doing back here? Uh, dude, there was no signs, bro. What do you want me to tell you? Didn't say I couldn't be back here. I definitely would not want to sleep this close to railroad tracks. Kind of cool that you can drive back here. Yeah, see, that's what happens. You live up in a house for a couple of days. Now I turn into a big wuss. <laughs> it's kind of cool up in there. Yep, yep, okay. Let's escape before we get in trouble. We're looking for me. Yeah, I, there's too much vandalism and other stuff over here too. I don't really wanna. Not really a place I would sleep, but hey, I had to take a look. Why not? Yeah, really crazy to me that you can get anywhere near. Like I can literally just go out and drive over that bridge. And I'm sure some idiot has probably tried it in the past. I'm still exploring. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, man. It's getting dark. I gotta find a spot. I keep messing around back in here. There's just some little roads in here. Like, eh, maybe something's back here. I don't know. Yeah, mostly just people where people have dumped. So not really places I'm gonna be comfortable with regardless since there's so much dumping in here. Don't need somebody coming in at two o'clock in the morning dumping a load of debris behind me. Anyways, get out of here. <laughs> Yeah, we might run into trouble again, man. It says the road is out up here. Let's see what happens. Almost to the spot. Oh, there's the lake. Silverwood Lake. That's beautiful. Wow. And we're almost to the spot. Let's see what happens. Uh, damn. <laughs> I'm just having no luck, man. There is nothing about this parking lot that says, oh, yeah, you should stay here tonight. There's graffiti everywhere. Oh, such a bummer, man. That sucks. And there's nobody here. So, yeah. When you're looking at I Overland there, there's like, oh, yeah, there's a bunch of campers and a bunch of people staying up here. Yeah, there's nothing about this spot. There's literally nobody here. So, yeah, nobody else got good vibes about this. So, yeah, that's going to be another fail. Listen, we're having a hard time finding a place to sleep tonight. We might just have to go back into the city and stealth camp. That sucks. Oh well. Uh oh. I found a spot up here that might be good, but yep, yeah, they're definitely getting to that point where it says the road is closed. Not sure if we're gonna make it. Would have been a winter too. Got signal up here. It's beautiful. It is very gorgeous up here. But unfortunately, I don't think we're gonna get to the spot. Bummer. Bit of rough, rough day trying to find camp. You know, I'm really close to the city though, so it's not a big deal. Just go back to the city. Park in the parking lot, stealth camper today, but I really wanted to park out here in nature, man. Man, it was right up here too. It's only like another mile away. Could go around. No, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> we're not gonna do that. Uh, all right. Well, we try. We keep trying. Lots of failures today. 
All right, still messing around. See if we can get ourselves in trouble. Looks like at this point, we're definitely gonna be uh, stealth camping in the city. So we'll just keep looking around here. Water running over the roadway. That looks kind of cool. What a beautiful little scene out here. A lot more water running over the roadway down here too. Look at that sun right behind, look at that. All right, I don't think we're gonna get washed off the road by this, but hey. All the cool spots are blocked. Or state land, or, ah, it's all good, whatever. Cool, maybe cool. I have no idea where I'm going right now. I don't know if you're I'm supposed to be on this road. Nothing stopped me though. Okay, it's turned into a dirt road and still no signs. Saying you can't camp, so let's keep looking. And I do have a phone signal out here, so. Okay, let's take a look. Let's see what we come up with. It's nice back here. I like it. Whee! Bump. Oh, oh, oh. Huh. Where are we going? <laughs> Off exploring, doing the thing. There's a gate right here, but it's open. Where is this gonna take us? Well, we're committed now. There's nowhere to turn around right here. So. Let's hope it doesn't get crazy. That down there. That's interesting. <laughs> I hope this road doesn't get too bad because, yeah, I'd hate to have to back all the way down this. That would really suck. <laughs> and if you didn't already know, yeah, I would not go down this if it was rain or snow. Hell to the nah. All right big old boulder that fell in the road here. Luckily it's not blocking the road. Okay, well, here I could turn around if I had to. Huh, should I keep going? I just don't see much potential for a camping spot up here. I think this is just gonna go all the way up the mountain here. So we'll cut our losses here. Yep, all right, time to go stealth camping. Hey, we saw lots of fun stuff though. Been pretty random. Hey, through the power of technology, I looked at the road on the satellite, and yeah, that definitely was not going to work. That was definitely not going anywhere I wanted to go. So inst I uh, instituted a 12-point turnaround, and now I'm hitting back down. Let's go.